So I was thinking the other day, right, about thinking slightly about the whole like Kardashian, the variety article where essentially in in kind of run up to announce the relaunch of the Kardashian show, which is an absolutely genius move, right? Again, I don't watch the show, no interest in reality show and TV in general. It's not kind of my vibe. But if I'm not mistaken, they announced like they made a big kerfuffle and a big mm, stink noise about them ending the show in the first place. Then only a month later, when they got a ridiculous bag, I'm assuming, of Hulu, they didn't announce, oh, psych, guys, we're back again. The story never ends. So, they, you know, they're just never going to go away. It is what it is. Cool. Do your thing. And people love their show. So, match made in heaven. But if there's ever been a better way to, you know, draw up the hype about a show, it's to just to illustrate just how kind of warped and self-absorbed you are by saying the comment that Kim did, right? Where she said, essentially, oh, people don't work hard enough, right? Was it this one, right? Where was it here? Let's play, let's play the clip. I have the best advice for women in business. Get your fucking ass up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. You That's have to, so true. You have to surround yeah. yourself with people that want to work. And for me, that I think is their superpower. Because again, I'm not a fan of the show, don't know anything about them. I've not watched a single episode of the show in full in my life and never probably will. But from the clips I've seen, it's not like other reality TV shows where they try to create drama, like Kitchen Nightmares, Big Brother, Dragon's Den, um, X Factor, American Idol, whatever. These shows, they create scenarios where to kind of get you to feel a certain emotion, to get you off your seat, to do, oh my God, I can't believe you said that, she said this. For the most part, from what I've seen the Kardashians, it's them just following these very somewhat vapid, materialistic, dense women around LA as they kind of navigate through life, right? Raising families, starting businesses, that's it. It's just that really. It's not really anything else crazy, not anything else complicated. People seem to love it. And for the most part, they seem to love it because they have essentially created their own reality. They've decided that the world around us right now, this material world that we all have in front of us, that's not enough. That's not what I want to be limiting myself to. Because just look at them, right? Look look at all three of them. They've got image here of all three sisters. They've essentially come out of their mother's womb and like, you know what? I'm not happy with the way that I look. I want to look more than what I am now. I want to create myself into the image that I feel like really represents who I actually am. And now we've all kind of had to believe it with them, right? Because I don't think any of them has really come out. I don't think so. Maybe I'm not mistaken. But if I'm not mistaken, none of them so far has come out of these three sisters we have there, the main ones, and said, yes, I have got surgery done here and there. And again, it's not anyone's business, but they've kind of gaslight us into a position where we have to basically agree that they've not got any work done or we are what? What's that word called? Um, we are denigrating women, right? We're kind of diminishing their beauty, making them feel less than blah, 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 blah. So it's a pretty clever tactic in that regard. But it got me thinking about this random screenshot that I saw from this account that I follow on Instagram called Who is Celebrity Vice? One of the best accounts I follow on Instagram. Really recommend you go check it out. I'm pretty sure it's private. So you might have to get, you know, you might have to wait for a while to get approved and you might not get approved because the person behind it is very tight about who kind of sees and views his content. It's all done very well. I'm a really big fan of the content regardless but he seems to have a real bug in his bonnet or fawn in his heel whatever it may be with the hidden account right hidden.ny on instagram same as i do i think it's a lame account not really a fan of it from the moment i saw that you know news of that clip of him you know putting together a flipping excel sheet list of cool things that drake should buy and shit like just lame dork upon dork flipping connections i, I hate the whole thing cool regardless we move there's a screenshot here of on Who Celebrity Vice's account, which looks like, I guess, an Instagram story from that Hidden and Wise account where somebody asked him a question, right, on Instagram. And they said, oh, what's your day in the life of Hidden and Wise page owner? How's it like? And he writes as follows, right? This kind of paragraph of how his day-to-day -day is kind of managing an Instagram account, right? Managing an Instagram account, producing an Instagram, curating an Instagram account, whatever you want to call it. And here's how he kind of puts in his own words. I wake up around 12. <laughs> I begin posting, watch TV, drink lots of coffee. I eat something. I sit on the sofa and look at things online. I eat more. I do emails. What that means, I don't know. I work on a current project. What that means, I don't know. What, selecting green on the colorway of something you want to put on? Who knows? I walk around the Soho, eat out, play Pokemon, watch YouTube videos, go to sleep. Somehow, he has tried to make us believe that curating an Instagram profile of images that he's found on the internet that aren't even his own, 
regurgitating stuff that's on other pages too, not coming out of any kind of original content in any way, shape or form, putting a shitty H on some socks and on a pair of flipping clerks is somehow equivalent to what? Running a flipping media agency, running a creative studio, um, being the flipping, you know, head person at a brand or something or a producer at a TV station. Like, what the hell is this? What the hell is this? You wake up at 12 and somehow you manage to fit all that stuff in. Cap. You wake up at 12 and somehow, you know, you work on emails. I don't know. You work on your current pro What's What is the current project? Tell me what the current project is. Please tell me what the current project is. Please. What is the current project that requires you to spend that much time on your computer? Tell me. Tell me, please. Absolute bullshit. But I think that's the key to life. I think the key to life is to create your own reality. I think for us, of us who are, for those of us who are kind of awake, who are sentient, <laughs> who are anchored in reality, that's what holds us back because we are limited by what's around us. We, we're the ones, we're the kind of people that sit around and say, you know what? I can't apply for that CEO job at Carhartt. I can't apply for that marketing manager job at Coca-Cola because I don't have enough experience. Why don't you? Why don't you? If you see that listing on LinkedIn and you can click apply and you have a CV and a covering letter, why not just apply? Fuck it. Yeah, you only have a couple of years experience working in a, you know, in a flipping graphic design studio and you're currently working part time in a coffee shop and you haven't touched Photoshop in 10 years. Yeah, 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 yeah. But just apply anyway. You never know what's going to happen. I'm sure some of you have worked with people who have been, you know, who you've kind of sat there and thought, how the hell did you get hired for this role? You have no qualifications to do what you're doing. I'm sure you've worked around with people before. I know I have. So why can't you be that person? Why can't you also reap the rewards of living in your own reality? Because these people are hidden in why and the Kardashians, they're kind of on the, they're kind of two sides of the same coin. They've created their own realities and now we are existing within them. So if he tells us he wakes up at 12, he does begins posting, I watch TV and he makes it sound like he's some, you know, media mogul, this creative director, CEO, founder type dude because he runs an Instagram page. We have to believe him because the reality is true. He has collaborations we see on Hypebeast and High Snobiety. He has pop-up shops here, magazines maybe, rec I don't know, whatever he's doing. You see these you see these kind of physical, real-life manifestations of the things that he's talking about. So whatever he's saying, he must be doing something right. Something right. Because he's kind of, you know, created this entire reality for himself where he is essentially the second coming of what? Splay or something. That might be the way forward. That might be the way forward in life. We might be missing out on a trick there because we're so obsessed with being real. Oh, she got work done. She did this. So what? You get work done too. Get yourself a cup. Get yourself a set of double Ds. Get yourself a dumper in the back there. Because maybe that is the key to allowing you to go to the next level. Because you're too centered in reality. You're too, you're too aware of what you look like and not wanting to put a bad message out there and standing for something. Fuck standing for something. Fuck having morals. Fuck all that shit. Fuck all that shit. Chase the bag. Create your own reality and cash the F in. Or cash the F in. Cash the fuck in. I'm always saying F in. I'm saying F now. But you get what I mean. I think that's the key to life. I really do think that's the key to life. Because again, you look at these next slides. I'm not sure if this stuff is real. But he's got some hoodie that he designed here with the kind of a flip on the MTV logo, which is hilarious. I wonder how long that took to make. And then he's got a screenshot here where he says, do me a favor, please, right? The guy who's made a career out of fucking doing the least amount of work for the most amount of profit is now asking his audience to flip in what? Um, uh, to, to lend their ear without payment and help him to kind of fine tune his design. He's not even, he doesn't even have the confidence and the conviction in his own designs to just put it out there and see how it runs. You have to help him out there, crowdsource the final decision making process. Please help me decide the colorway of this drop. Just drop it in that colorway, who gives a shit? It's a fucking flip of a shitty logo. Just drop the colorway, who cares? Um, I'd like to do one and get the most yeses. Oh, whatever, man. Another screenshot says, design competition. First place, your design is manufactured and we split profits. Oh my God, this guy is an absolute prick. But no, it makes sense though. Create your own reality. Next screenshot. Um, somebody posted, I guess a designer called um, OQ Large. Wow, thanks for completely stealing my graphic and adding the H in a circle and not giving me any credit. Very classy. Oh. <laughs> create your own reality. I created the logo. You didn't, you're lying. Fake news. Next slide. He says here, yeah, what's this? I've done everything. <gasps> oh, okay, this is him justifying his existence, I guess. 
So, him justifying his existence is as follows. Who? Oh, I've done every single post on this page alone. Bravo. Give him an award. Ray Kawakubo reincarnated. Nobody else has ever logged into or posted every single thing. I'm a regular guy. I moved from London to NY five years ago. No one cares. Um, to be with my American girlfriend. Cool, bruv. You have sex. Congrats. I was doing odd jobs and couldn't find my place. Nobody wanted to hire me. <laughs> <laughs> this page actually used to be called I want to make your merch Oh my god Next slide, sorry Hiccups here because he's talking so much shit do the, To do the blogging Bad days gone day uh, Bad days good day <gasps> Sorry, birthday's wedding I've even posted whilst getting stitches in my hand at hospital This, this guy man um, I post while I'm, I'm running machine on the gym it's the first thing I do when I wake up and last thing I do before I sleep. I, I think I, uh, the thing I think about when I, I don't want to do it. Oh, my hiccups. Sorry, mate. Hiccups are bad right now. Let's continue. Um, the thing I think about, uh, sorry, the thing I think, uh, sorry, let's continue again. The thing I think about when I don't want to do it is the way this fashion and art music stuff made me feel when I first found it as a almost four years old posting. Almost four hours, four years of posting, eight to twelve in one time. Single day might need a break soon. Okay, this is a mock up what of like a hidden Rolex collaboration you've got. Cool. Anyway, again, create your own reality because I'm hiccuping too much. I don't want to keep you for too long. The point is, create your own reality. Fuck the reality you live in. That's the way to come successful. If you don't do that, you're going to lose. If you don't do that, you're going to lose. Oh my God, the hiccups are crazy. 